Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Indie Reads Aloud. We have a repeat reader for you today, author Mark McCraw, all the way from Oklahoma. Every time I say that word, I feel like I have to <laughs> sing it. Um, <laughs> he's coming all the way from Oklahoma, and he is a children's book author. So if you have little people, you might want to grab them, bring them to the screen, or uh, turn up the volume so they can listen. Um, today, Mark is going to read The Problem Is. And this is about a six-year-old kindergarten student who is not happy about her problems. Some of her problems are very unique to her age. She says some precious statements that will make you laugh. This is a book that will allow you to join her on her quest to find solutions to her problems. Mark, I'm so glad to have you back on the program again. Thank you so much. It was good to be back. It's great having you. Um, your books are just super fun, and I know little people really enjoy them. Um, Thank you. Just to give everybody a little information about Mark, he has spent more than a decade in education working with children and students of all ages, from infants through college students. He is an Air Force, Air Force Reserves, a disabled veteran. He is a father of four adult children and a grandfather of nine. <laughs> he currently excuse me, currently lives in Oklahoma. <coughs> Pardon me. He is a member of the Oklahoma Literacy Association, um, the American Library Association, the Korea Defense Veterans Association, and the Disabled Americans Veteran as a junior vice commander. That's a cool title, vice commander. That's, <laughs> that's very cool. Thanks. I remember <laughs> when when I was in ROTC in high school and I got to the rank of major. That was pretty cool. Cadet mm -hmm. major. <laughs> so welcome back again. I'm really excited to, again, sh share your work. Um, you have great books with great messages. What was the... Um, what was the impetus? What was the reason that you wanted to write a book about problems? Well, because this book was actually uh, dedicated to my granddaughter, and my granddaughter actually did that one day. She actually went into her room and and uh, and you know folded her arms and all that. So I, I really used a lot of dialogue that she did throughout the year, as well as uh, that that particular incident is what caused me to write that book about her. So I dedicated it to her. That's awesome. <laughs> you have such lucky children in your life. <laughs> That's so much fun. Okay, when you are ready, please, Mark, I know you're going to share your screen so that everybody who is watching on YouTube can see the illustrations. When you're ready, please take the microphone and read aloud. All right, thank you. All right, this is the problem is... My name is Molly. I am six years old and in kindergarten. I want to be a detective when I grow up. I like doing cartwheels, playing on the trampoline, playing with Legos, building towers with blocks, and playing games on the tablet. My brother's name is Nate. He likes to read about axolotls. He also likes to play games on the tablet. An axolotl is like a salamander that lives in the water and has six gills, three on each side of its body to breathe. The axolotl looks like it is smiling all the time. Nate wants to be a scientist when he grows up. Sometimes I get into trouble. I don't like being in trouble. I think it is because I have lots of energy like ants. When I get mad, I go to my room and lock the door. I sit on the carpet and fold my arms. As I am upset, mom, dad, Peepaw, that is what I call my grandfather, or Mimi, this is what I call my grandmother, ask me to unlock the door. 
Peepaw and Mimi asked me, what is the matter? I tell them the problem is I am flustrated because I cannot win my game. It is not fair. This is my second problem. They are not playing with me. So I go to my room, sit on the carpet, and pout. My third problem is they are Rudy's. The my fourth problem is no one listens. My fifth problem is my tablet needs to be charged. It is at 90. My final problem is when I go over to Peepaw and Mimi's house at 47, there are no bananas, cheese sticks, or jello. These are my favorite snacks. How can I fix these problems? Mimi and Peepaw know I want to be a detective. They asked me to be a detective by finding plastic eggs. I just know there is something in there. I found the first egg in the kitchen. There was chocolate in it. There was a note too. Mimi read it to me. It said, take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. So I did. I have asked Mimi and Peepaw to do this too. So I know all about this. I was off to hunt for the next egg. I said, Detective Molly is on the case. I found the second egg near a chair in the living room. I love the jelly beans in this egg. There was a note in the plastic egg. The note in the egg said, count to 10. So I did. I am off to hunt for the next egg. I said, Detective Molly is on the case. I found the next egg outside the door. There was a gummy bear and a note in the egg. Then this note said, stop what you are doing and come back to it later. I did not know what this meant, so I asked Mimi about it. She said I had to stop, put the egg down, and come back to get it later. Mimi said the lesson here is stop when you get frustrated and come back to what you were doing later. So this means I need to take a break. I was off to search for the next egg. I said, Detective Molly is on the case. The fourth egg was hard to find, but I found it upstairs on a shelf in my bedroom. There was a gumdrop in the egg with a note. It said, hold and squeeze a stuffed animal that you like. So I squeezed my bear. I was off to find the next egg. I said, Detective Molly is on the case. I found the fifth egg near my mom's desk. This egg had a piece of hard candy and a note in it. The note said, listen to music. I love to sing and listen to music. So I started to sing a song about primary and secondary colors. This hunt is so exciting. I am off to find the next egg. Mimi and Peepa said, Detective Molly is on the case. I found the last egg. It was outside. 
there was a piece of candy corn and a note in it. The note said, go and play. I found six eggs in all. I am Detective Molly and I'm on the case. Can you think of some other clues to help me solve problems? Thank you. With your help, we have solved the case. We make a great team. Ah, oh, I feel better now. Feel good. And that's the end of our story. <laughs> yeah, that's, I loved it. <laughs> I love writing super stuff fun. like that. Yeah. That's super fun. Um, so how many books have you written so far? How many children's books? Uh, this is number eight that I just, I just put out. Well, this is, this one was put out this year. So that was number seven and number eight is Brains Over Brawn, which was just released in August. And, and that, um, that book, Brains Over Brown, is for a little bit older children, right? Yes, it's a, it's a bullying book. It's a fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade. It goes all the way through eighth grade. Talks about those grades uh, being bullied. And then in the back of it, it has a lot of resources about bullying, not only for the person who is the bully, but also the person that's being bullied and what kind of characteristics uh, for each one and, and talks about having respect okay. and things of that nature. So, And you're going to be featuring that book at our February um book festival virtual yes. book festival in february of uh, 2024 so anybody yes. who would like to check that out you can come to the festival and you'll get um a, a direct reading <laughs> from that book as well awesome. mark thank you so much for coming back to reading to our audience again i really appreciate it and i hope you have a great day hey thank you so much appreciate you you're welcome